I was just about to do pimping my noodles and Alex and I have a little bit of a competition about this. She does her noodles one way and I do mine the other way. For today's recipe, guess who's going to do the cooking? Me! <laughs> So we're cooking noodles for me and mum today. Yum! Instead of having a soup in them like you normally would with like a ramen or a two minute noodles, we're going to drain it and make them more like fried migori. Tell us about the noodles you're using. Um, I don't really know. You get these from the Asian supermarket. <laughs> but I only use the noodles. Flavouring, don't need them. Oh, so you got two packets in there. Now we pre-boil our kettle. Yeah. That's the number one tip for saving time. And you just kind of pour it in. What we're gonna do is turn the stove on because then what happens is they cook really quickly, which is great because we're saving time here. So I would have this lunch while I'm working from home, obviously only a 30 minute lunch break. So this is good for cooking, cleaning up, eating, scuffing it down and then getting back to work. While that's cooking, we were supposed to just start chopping this up. I've got soy sauce, rice wine vinegar, oyster sauce, peanut oil. Hmm. Don't use olive oil because it tastes too not Asian. We're going to chop up our spring onions first and then we have a leek. I just kind of grab the end. I'll cut it in half. And then I'll just chop that up. And then we've got our bok choy, which is essential to the noodles. And we're gonna use these two big ones today because I'm feeling like I need more vegetables. And then the second ingredient and third, or one, two, three, four, five, fifth and sixth is ginger, which is really odd, but it tastes good, and garlic. Can you get the skin off? Chop how much you want. Then the next part, remember I showed you this? Look at that. I didn't think that was going to be as easy as that was. Yeah, that's, it is just an incredible tip. All right. This is a lot of ginger, but we're fighting cold and flu season here in Adelaide. So I think the more the better. These noodles are almost done. So are we're going sure? to drain these. Right. Now the trick is you keep a little bit of the noodle water in there. And then we get our garlic. Now right, we've got we shiitake go. mushrooms, which is mum's request. Yum. Every day is a mushroom day for me, for me. We're gonna pop in our peanut oil. And then we just kind of add everything. Cause you know, they're all pretty small ingredients. Even like the garlic and the ginger and everything. Yeah. How much oil did you put in? Not much. What about a tablespoon? like a glob and then what we're gonna do is add our oyster sauce do a glob of that too glob 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 this is tamari yeah. but we'll add a glob of that too we'll stir that in and then we're gonna add the rice wine vinegar you know what we've forgotten the noodles edamame oh edamame edamame, edamame. okay i'm so that you are as stupid as me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, we'll add that. Yep. See how everything's just kind of reduced and now there's nothing left. You happy with mm, that? Yeah. Now that that's done, we're going to add the noodles back in. You have been making these for quite some time. You've got it down pat, haven't you? I have it down to like a fine art. So now we just kind of toss the noodles in there, toss the flavours and all of the little vegetables around. It's a bloody great meal. Yeah, and it's actually really filling. It is time to serve it up. Let's get a bowl. Turn the stove off. I know you're used to being on this side of the camera and tossing me around. <laughs> Sorry, I would eat this with tuna. I didn't have a tuna. A lot of people wouldn't. I used to dip pasta into Vegemite and eat that as a child. Time for money poor noodles. 